Today we're talking about one of the most powerful methods to target people through Facebook and Instagram advertising, namely behavioral targeting. Now this method is especially powerful if you're trying to target cold audiences, aka people who don't know who you or your business are just yet. Now if you want to know more about all the different types of audiences that Facebook allows you to create and target, I've made separate videos on those already and I will make sure to link them somewhere up here throughout this video. And if you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Yoka. I run a digital marketing agency where we help people turn passion into profitable and scalable businesses through sales funnel, creative content, copywriting, and as you could have guessed, digital advertising. So if that's something you are interested in, if you want to turn your own passion into a profitable and scalable business that you can be proud of, make sure you hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you get updates on all my future videos. And now without further ado, let's talk behavioral targeting. So what is behavioral targeting? As the word suggests, behavioral targeting allows you to target people based on specific behaviors they exhibit. So for example, travel behavior or purchase behavior, whether or not they are early tech adopters and so on and so forth. Facebook has crazy amounts of information on its users and in a way that's a little bit scary, but as a marketer, that is brilliant. So they have all this information partially because of what you do on Facebook and Instagram on the app or on your computer, what kind of content you like, what people you interact with, etc. But it goes way further than that. The majority of online stores nowadays, or even just normal websites, have the Facebook pixel installed. That's a little bit of code that they implement in the back end of their website or in the code of their website, so that whatever action you take on their website is also tracked by Facebook. This will allow them, from an advertising perspective, to target you with correct ads or retarget you. And for Facebook itself, it allows allows them to even further track your behavior across browsers, across websites, and to really, really pinpoint what kind of advertising you should be shown. Now, this can be added on top of interest or demographic-based targeting. Again, if you want to know more about that, I will make sure to link some videos up here, especially go and take a look at the saved audiences tutorial where I explain how you can target people based on interests or demographics. And behavioral targeting can be added on top of that. And that will make your audience even more detailed, even more specific, which will result in a couple of things that will make it easier for you to win the Facebook auction. You serving advertising to a more relevant, more detailed audience will make sure that that advertising, as the word suggests, is more relevant. So more people will like and comment, there will be more engagement, there will also be a higher click-through rate because your advertising is that relevant to your audience. A higher click-through rate will indicate for the Facebook algorithm that your ads should be shown to more people because clearly a lot of people are interacting with it, clicking on it. A higher click click-through rate also means you will get more people to your website, will, which will, if everything is set up correctly, result in a higher conversion rate. Again, communicating to the Facebook algorithm that this advertising is working and they should be showing it to more people. And this sort of just keeps going and going, which will make it easier for you to win at the Facebook auction. Now, before we hop over to my business manager where I'm going to show you exactly how you can implement behavioral targeting, I just wanted to let you know that I put together a PDF overview that will teach you everything you need to know to start running ads today. So it's called I'm a boss at Facebook ads and it has all the lingo that you need to know about Facebook ads as well as the basic setup instructions to run your first campaign. So make sure that you stick it out until the end of the video and I will let you know how you can get your hands on it because it is completely for free. And now without further ado, let's hop over to my business manager and set up some behavioral targeting. Okay, so when you're in your business manager, go to the audience section. As you can see, these are audiences that I've already created. And then we're gonna click create audience and we're basically not gonna go for a saved audience. The reason I'm doing it this way is just because it's easier to show you like this because I'm not actively creating a campaign. Of course, this is also something that you could do when you are creating a new campaign, but I'm just gonna say test audience. There we go. Um, and then again, you have the custom audience 
I'm not gonna dive too much into location, age, and gender or languages because this is something that I've covered in the saved audience tutorial, which will be linked somewhere at the top. What I am interested in is this part. So it says detailed targeting, include people who match, and then it already says add demographics, interests, or behaviors. And now when we click browse, you're gonna be able to see that there's actually a section that says behaviors. And so this is like, where I would advise you to really just go and browse because there's so much stuff that you can target for. One that immediately for me stands out, which I think is funny, is that they have a separate um, section to target people who do Ramadan, um, which is the fasting month for Muslims. And it's also a month where a lot of presents are bought for family. So if you are targeting uh, Muslims during Ramadan this is actually like genius that they have this again a bit scary don't want to think too much about the ethics about it but from a marketing perspective it's genius and then you have an anniversary do they have an anniversary within 60 to 90 days again if you're a um, photographer and you want to promote an anniversary shoot this might be something you could use then you have consumer classification. I actually don't know what this is, and I'm gonna be very honest. I still discover things. After years and years, I still discover things. And that's why I say like, you should just go and browse. And so this is if people buy high value goods, apparently. I don't think they have all the countries in there. Each country has different regulations as well as how much information Facebook is allowed to utilize. You have digital activities console gamers early tech adopters is very interesting this is especially um interesting if you are a company that sells tech gadgets so early tech adopters are people who basically would buy the latest iphone they would stand in line for it they would buy the latest samsung device they would be changing their computer every year whenever there's a new tech thing coming out these are the people that use it the first and often it's those people that then convince the people around them to start using those products. So as a tech company, this is a very powerful targeting method. And then, and this is interesting. Uh, oh, it's under digital activities. This is something I will cover a bit more broadly in a tutorial of how to target small business owners on Facebook, but this is very interesting. So Facebook page admins, this allows you to target people who are business page admins and almost every company nowadays has at least a Facebook page. So knowing that you can target people who are admins of those business pages, again, very powerful. There's a difference between business page, Facebook page, community and club page. Um, if you're targeting restaurant owners specifically, you could use this, etc. Again, we'll go more in depth in another tutorial. The internet browser that's being used, operating system, this is all purely behavioral um targeting so let's close out of the digital activities and then when you go down you have mobile device user um how like how long have they been using their device and the way that facebook tracks this is and i'm not completely sure anymore about how long but basically every time that you log into facebook with your phone facebook knows what device you're using once you log in from a different device and you log in enough times over a period i think of three weeks or four weeks facebook will then say that you must have bought another phone because you've continuously been using this other device and that's how they would say this person has been using their phone anywhere between one or three months all the way up to less than a month or more than let's say nine months this is again if you are let's say a tech company yourself you sell phones or you are selling gadgets for people who have had their phones for longer than three months the likelihood of them breaking their screen after three months is higher than in the first three months and you have a screen repair service, this is something that you could also use. If you sell, if you're a company that sells phones, you could basically target people who have their phones for at least six months or more because people who've just bought a new phone will never buy a new phone. It used to be broader though. You could target, you used to be able to target over 18 months and stuff like that. And then you have interested in upcoming events, etc. 
multicultural affinity Pol politics as you can see only for the us purchase behavior is also very uh, powerful is engaged shoppers um, people who have clicked on the call to action shop now in the past you have soccer this again like such a powerful cat uh, category if that falls within your niche and then travel and travel is something that you can use let's say commuters let's say you have developed an app a game or anything that people that commute would be likely to use you would be able to target people who are commuters on weekdays because again with location tagging and stuff like that facebook can sort of track who falls into that category frequent international travel travelers frequent travelers return from traveling one week ago return from traveling two weeks ago it just goes on and on and again this is so so powerful again it depends on what products or services you're offering and that's why just browse and combine behavioral targeting with interest base and demographic targeting and then of course gender location Everything combined is gonna be one one powerful beast of a targeting strategy. Now, as you can see, there are so many options when it comes to targeting people through Facebook or Instagram ads. So what I would advise you to do is that you would take about an hour and just browse, just play around with it and really try and figure out what would work best for your product or service because there is no clear cut way of targeting people. It really needs to be adapted for every product or service that you offer. So just have fun with it, play around with it. Even for me after years, I still discover new options to target people even better through Facebook and Instagram ads and then for that freebie all you would have to do is go to my website and we'll put it on the screen somewhere here at slash i am a boss at facebook ads or simply click the link in the description and you can download it completely for free i really hope this will help you get started in the next couple of weeks i will be uploading more and more tutorials on facebook and instagram advertising but in the meantime just check out these videos over here and let me know if you have any questions. See you soon.